Hello, your friendly neighborhood host, J.T. Wheatley here again, back for another episode of the Classics. This time, DC, The New Frontier by Darwin Cook. This was a classic uh, mini six-issue miniseries released back in 2004 that goes from uh, 1945 to 1960 in the DC Universe. This is the Golden Age superheroes of DC, Superman, Batman, and Wonder Woman, eventually he, uh, meeting and handing off to the Silver Age superheroes of the Flash, Green Lantern, and the Martian Manhunter, and so forth. It was a great series that incorporated a brilliant job by Cook incorporating the timeline with uh, these uh, superheroes along with the characters. For instance, they factored in the McCarthy hearings about why the superheroes disappeared for a short period during that time. AC cameos by uh, President Eisenhower, Richard Nixon, and so forth. But it also has a great larger story about what it means to be a hero and uh, so forth. And you can see great references from all the great, uh, great uh, comic books of the past, like The Watchmen and Dark Knight Returns. And while the story mostly focuses on how Jordan emerges as Green Lantern, along with, of course, Martian Manhunter, you do see some great interaction with the superheroes from the Golden Age of Superman and Batman and Wonder Woman. And quite frankly, the way they're depicted in the 1945 to 1960 era, they look better in that era for some reason. Granted, it's mostly it's this Darling Quick's brilliant artistic style as well, which really, in many ways, reminds you of that great animation style of the Batman, the animated series, another classic in his own right. But it had a perfect mix of like cartoony yet serious, and Cook, the late great Cook, was a was a true treasure in the comic art form. And in many ways, this was his magnus opus. Like, this story is just brilliant from beginning to end, and uh, easily one of the best DC stories ever written. So yes, definitely check it out. It's a true classic. My preferred edition, of course, is the uh, 2005 Absolute Edition, which not only has the both the series reprinted in gorgeous large format, but also has great uh, footnotes by Darwin Cook about each panel and page, in which pretty much reads like a like a comic like a commentary for a comic book, and he point he makes his uh, notes about why he made this decision, this decision, and how he incorporated all these characters and so forth. But it was this great read and must listen. And a must-read as well. And, of course, this series is still stands as one of the great, uh, more uh, recent classic recent years. Of course, led to the DC animated movie, DC The New Frontier, which, while good, I quite frankly thought it was a bit too abridged. I wish they had gone like uh, what they did with The Dark Knight Returns, where they did like a two-parter to really flesh out the story, because they contended a bit too much. But overall, the comic itself is a true classic. The, the adaptation... Pretty good, but uh, I wish it could be better. But it's still worth checking out if you like the DC animated films, and there are definitely more than a few one, good ones. And this ranks is one of the better ones, not one of the best, but definitely good. But DC, The New Frontier, a true classic. And of, of course, it's just going to remind you that we're going to miss the late great Darwin Cook. That man was a true genius and will be missed for, well, quite only forever. And now I'm recording this on. Uh, July 16th, 2019, to, to give you a uh, favorite comic book from Royal last week, and that will be Batman number 74 by Tom King and Michael Janin, which uh, fills the conclusion to the Fall and the Fallen storyline that finds uh, his alternate universe, uh, New 52 uh, father Thomas Wayne slash Batman, bringing him to the fabled Nan Pit. The Lazarus Pit that even Ra's al Ghul tries to keep secret because he has the ability to bring people back to life that have been decades dead. But the trick is that you have to sacrifice someone else's life to, in order to do it. And Thomas Wayne's uh, ultimate plan is he wants to bring back uh, his wife and Bruce Wayne's dad, the uh, mother uh, Martha Wayne, to make them a family again and finally give Bruce a reason not to be Batman anymore. Because he figures, hey, if your parents aren't dead anymore, there's no reason to be Batman anymore. And, uh, well, but, of course, uh, Bruce Wayne slash Batman, he has a few tricks up his sleeve as, for his concluding story arc. King does a great job really setting up the story and really establishing the relationship between Bruce Wayne and his alternate dimension father. Even though they're not tech, he's not technically his father, he still has a connection to him and he understands where he's coming from. And he kind of pulls your leg for a while thinking, is Bruce going to go through with this crazy plan of bringing his mother back to life after everything he's been through? Or maybe, you know, he's finally broken. It's like, the heck with Batman. I'm just going to be, uh, have my parents back and be, uh, have a happy night with life. But uh, you have to read to the very end to see where it goes, because, of course, it's still Batman, and, and he always has a plan for everything. Beautifully contrasted by Michael Janan's art, which is this beautiful, almost creepy depiction of Nan Pit, down to that final collective ending, along with a great cliffhanger that'll have you going, okay, when does issue number 75 come out? Because I have to see where this goes now. 
Overall, like uh, this uh, story has some ups and downs, but it's still one of the best Batman runs in years. I can't wait to see where uh, Tom King takes it from here. And definitely worth checking out. And uh, yeah, like I said, I'm recording this ahead of time because I didn't before going on vacation um, in a few weeks. So I wanted to maybe put a few episodes in the bank to let you know. But with this, I'm giving you another classic episode with DC The New Frontier and also giving you a quick uh, comments recommendation, Batman number 74. So uh, till then, go out and enjoy yourself a good comic book. And especially go out and enjoy DC, The New Frontier. That is a true classic. <laughs>